so we will now see how the project was made to start with it we will first start with the block diagram explanation then the component details after that circuit design and we will then last at last go to the testing and working of the system how it is done so let's do one thing let's just type neon project here to get the block diagram of the system so when you reach the website just scroll down here and here you can type the project name so this is the one iot early flood detection so when you go to this page just scroll down below and you can see the block diagram here and as you can see uh, they have used uh, arduino here and this is the arduino controller it is used along with the wi-fi module which is used to provide iot connectivity through the local wi-fi connection and these are the sensors used the temperature and humidity sensor along with it water flow sensor ultrasonic sensor and water level sensor so i'll explain you the working of these sensors the temperature and humidity is used to check the temperature as well as the humidity to check whether there is heavy rainfall or you know uh, there is no rainfall in that particular area so that uh, it will give us an indication if there are chances of a flood the water flow sensor is used to demonstrate as the flow of water through the dam so suppose the water level rises high and they leave water they have to release water to check the flow we have to demonstrate the flow check we have used a water flow sensor so that they get a amount of how much water has left the dam at particular level then the ultrasonic sensor is used to check the level of water at the other side of the dam to keep a track on it and along with that we have a water level sensor which is a float sensor which is also used to keep track of you know the high water level if it reaches a certain point and this is the entire system here so we will explain the details of the system the power supply and the circuit diagram how it is made in the further section so now let's move on to the components used so as you can see this is the main component which is arduino uno when you click on it you can also find details of the board so this is the board arduino uno which is used in it okay you can just click on the components here then this is the sensor temperature plus humidity sensor then the wi-fi module esp8266 along with its interfacing diagram the ultrasonic sensor along with all its uh, pin details pin description and details and the interfacing diagram with arduino how it is interfaced and as you can see we have used an arduino compiler here along with uh, at using a programming language c and iot gecko iot gecko is used to provide the web server connectivity to demonstrate display the system online the status of the system the water level and all other parameters so let's now proceed to the circuit diagram circuit design section so this is the circuit diagram explanation ab hum dekhenge circuit diagram kaise banta hai is project ka so this is a proteus tool that we are using hum log jo hai proteus use kar rahe hain but market mein kafi sare tools hain usme layout ya gui alag hoga par process same hai so there are multiple tools in the market you can use they have the a different gui but the process remains the same so let's now start with the controller let's first uh, drag the controller on the screen to ab jab ab jo hum uh, hai arduino ko drag karenge sabse pehle screen pe so aap dekh sakte ho ye arduino uno hai so this is the arduino uno board that we have brought in the layout section So now we will prepare the schematic for a power supply for the Arduino. अब जो हम है कि Arduino के लिए power supply design करेंगे इस tool में So to start with, we just need to start dragging components here first. So 
तो इस तरह से जो है हम कंपोनेंट्स ड्रैग करेंगे इसमें so now we have made the power supply for uh, the system and uh, now we'll see you know how we can create a layout so similarly as we created the power supply you will need to drag the components here and drag all the sensors by searching from it so jis tarah se power supply bana hai usi tarah se hame sensor drag karne hote hain sensors ko add karna hota hai jaise ki ye ultrasonic sensor hai so this is how we you know drag sensors in this schematic and after that we can link it to the controller तो इस तरह से हम जो है उसे कंट्रोलर से लिंक करते हैं so now once this is done we can just uh, drag it down to as we want on the pcb and go to the layout section now once you have developed the complete circuit or schematic to ab jo hai jab aap circuit ya schematic bana lete ho uske baad hame layout mein jana hota hai so let's check out the layout section now 
So once we click on the layout, we have to drag all the components there, which we created in the schematic capture to develop the track of the system. So now we have to the components we have used on the screen so that we can track the PCB track layout and we can print it. So this is the track layout which can be printed on the PCB. So once this is done, we now have to develop the tracks for the system. So एक बार ये हो जाए, इसके बाद हमें इसके track बनाने होते हैं, as per the PCB. So इसके लिए अब हम जो है track बनाएंगे इसके. So the tracks are done now and once the tracks are done, your PCB is ready for printing. So इसके बाद आपका PCB जो है, इसे आप print कर सकते हो PCB board पे. So let's now proceed to the next section which is coding. So now this project has been programmed in C language and it uses Arduino compiler as we saw on the website. So let's start the Arduino compiler here. तो ये project जो है, ये Arduino compiler में code हुआ है. तो इसके लिए हम Arduino compiler शुरू करेंगे। तो compiler में इसका जो code है, वो हम पहले compile करते हैं। Compilation से हमें पता चलता है कि code error free है। तो इस तरह से जो है डन कंपाइलिंग यहां पे लिखा हुआ आता है सो दिस इज हाउ द कोड इज कंपाइल्ड एंड आफ्टर दैट व्हेन यू अटैच आर्डिनो टू दिस देन वी कैन बर्न दिस कोड इनटू व्हिच एवर आर्डिनो इज अटैच्ड हियर एंड द आर्डिनो कंट्रोलर एट मेगा कैन बी प्रोग्राम दिस वे सो दिस इज हाउ इट इज प्रोग्रामड हियर फ्रॉम आर्डिनो कंपाइलर Hi guys and welcome to the demonstration of IoT flood detection system. This is an advanced system which can be used to detect floods and update the status over the internet. Most of the water bodies are very easily accessible to common people. At times it may happen that the weather conditions change suddenly and the seas may become violent. And sometimes it may result in flooding and lives can be lost in the process. So we have developed a system to detect the changes in weather and the water level so as to alert the authorities. Following this, an alarm can be raised and people can be escorted to safety. The system is powered using an Arduino. It is designed to sense 5 parameters, namely temperature, humidity, distance, flow of water and the water level. The system constantly keeps checking for the changes in the weather conditions and updates the live data over IoT. In case the parameters reach dangerous levels, the system raises an alarm thereby alerting the authorities. 
सो लेट्स पावर इट ऑन our system is getting connected to the website using wifi the system is now online as you can see we are monitoring four parameters namely temperature humidity distance and flow level now let's increase the temperature as you can see the temperature value is rising steadily and the resulting values are updated over iot now let's increase the water level as the sea level rises the distance decreases and once it passes the threshold an alarm is raised Now we have the float sensor. Let's simulate a flood. The sea level has reached dangerous levels and thus a flood has been detected. The onboard buzzer sounds an alarm whereas the authorities are alerted remotely by a tone sequence and an alert message. So in this way our project can be used to detect floods and prevent undesirable accidents. Thank you.